One of the last six teams left in the Western Athletic Conference. Late this afternoon, Fresno State and Nevada announced they are leaving the football conference for the Mountain West. KITV4 Sports Director Robert K. Kaula has been on the UH campus most of the day, joining us live from the Stan Sheriff Center where our press conference just ended. Robert? Uh, thank you, Laura. I'm joined live by University of Hawaii Athletics Director Jim Donovan. Uh, Jim, will you need four-wheel drive for the bumpy road ahead? What's coming up here? Well, today certainly was a tough day for the WAC and for UH Athletic Department. Um, but we've had tough days before, and we've fought our way through them, and that will be what our plans will be going forward. Um, but certainly this was a, a real setback. Now, the day started with talk of the possibility of BYU leaving the Mountain West, football going independent, rest of the athletic program rejoining the Western Athletic Conference. It ends with departure of Nevada, Fresno State. There's talk now about either Fresno State or Nevada. They're going to have to pay to get out of the WAC. Am I right? Well, there was an agreement made in the last 10 days um, that all the teams, uh, schools, institutions in the WAC would stay together, but if anybody decided to leave, that they would pay a $5 million exit penalty. And uh, so I believe that's in effect, but there may be uh, attorneys uh, that will be working on that issue. Now, in the next 24 hours, next 48 hours, next few weeks, there's going to be a lot to digest. What can anybody suspect University of Hawaii will be in position to do from here forward? Well, I mean, our obvious options are staying in the WAC and getting some more members in the WAC. Um, we'll take a look at uh, other options on top of that. You know, some of the obvious ones are maybe independence in football, um, another conference out there. Uh, but because of our geographic location, um, it's a tough situation for us. I mean, the reality is we have a very good academic institution uh, in the Tier 1 Carnegie Research Institution, only about 90 of those in the United States, and we were 62nd out of all Division I schools. Um, I think Boise was uh, 61st, and in the Mountain West, it was maybe uh, uh, New Mexico and BYU had a better ranking than we did. So we're doing very well athletically also. Um, you know, so it's not those issues. It's, it's obviously other issues, and, and it's probably geography, but, you know, Hawaii's fought through that kind of thing before, and we're going to fight through it again. Now, for the record, for a conference to be called a conference, you have to have a minimum of eight teams. So the current WAC now, with the departure of Nevada and Fresno, it leaves six? That's correct, right now. Uh, but the question is whether they leave for the 2011 season or the 2012 season. Technically, there was a deadline on July 1st. It's past that, so now they're really talking about the 2012 season. And so that would give us some more time to potentially find at least a couple other um, members for the Western Athletic Conference, uh, assuming that's the route it goes. Now, that announcement by Nevada and Fresno State happened at 4.30 Hawaii time. Have you had a chance to talk to WAC Commissioner Carl Benson yet? Um, I've had no communication with Commissioner Benson today via email or um, by telephone. Obviously, I have a, a telephone call into him. I believe the Chancellor does also. Um, but this has been a pretty crazy day. I mean, there was things being reported in ESPN, USA Today, nationally about uh, the Mountain West was not going to exist. Uh, and now, by the end of the day, um, the wax on the ropes. You have four-wheel drive in your car? Uh, no, I don't. I should probably get it. Good luck to you. It'll be a busy couple of days. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm Robert Kikawa, live from the Stan Sheriff Center at the University of Hawaii. Thank you, Jim Donovan, UH Athletic Director, for joining us. Laura, back to you. All right, thanks, Robert. And he's going to be back at 10 to discuss more about that. Now, we want to know what you think. Can the Western Athletic Conference survive the defections of three schools? Cast your vote and post a comment on our website, kitv.com.